Come for the bread, stay for the politics. I'm Ben Walsh, and this is Let the Meat Bread. This is our 30th episode of Let the Meat Bread, and it is our last episode of the calendar year. So this will be the last episode of 2021. And to celebrate the holidays, I figured, you know, we could go for a little bit of a change of pace, right? It's starting to get colder. Maybe your kitchen isn't as warm. You don't want to do a a long yeasted bread. You just want that bread as soon as you can, right? So what we're going to do today is make a Swiss cheese beer bread. And this uses two of my absolute favorite ingredients in bread, which is cheese and beer. And uh, this recipe is um, a, I'm making a double of this recipe, but I'm when I'm narrating it later, I'm actually gonna instruct you on a single amount. And the recipe I put down will be a single amount of the recipe, but I'll be making a double. So pay attention to what I say and not necessarily to what you see going on. All right? And additionally, we have an extra special thing because this bread is not rising. We are going to put it directly in the oven. I'm going to talk politics over the bread actually baking, and then we'll get to take it out and see it together as it comes out of the oven, okay? I'm really excited to do it this way. Let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna put in our flour. For this recipe, I am using three cups of bread flour, although all purpose will work just fine. Next up, we have our baking powder. That's three teaspoons of baking powder. Just sprinkling that in there. Next up is going to be our sugar. We have three teaspoons, sorry, three tablespoons of sugar to use. I'm just using regular white table sugar. Next up is our salt. I'm using sea salt, but you're going to be using one and a half teaspoons of whatever salt you want. Next is our half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. You can use non-freshly ground if you want. Then we're just going to give these a nice little stir before we put in our cheese. Now we have our cheese. We have four ounces of cheese total, but first we have uh, two ounces of it that has been cut into cubes. That's what I'm putting in now. And then another two ounces of the cheese uh, that has been shredded, and that is what I'm putting in right now. And we're just going to fold these in once I can get all the cheese off of my board here. Now we're just folding in the cheese, making sure to get it mixed together, but not super mixed together before we put in our liquid ingredients, which is our beer. So just finishing that off. Next up in goes one whole bottle or 12 ounces of beer. It doesn't have to be alcoholic beer. It can be alcoholic, it can be non-alcoholic beer if you want. I'm using Blue Moon, but any beer is fine. And then we are going to slowly, very carefully mix this together so you don't get your dry ingredients all over the place. This will start to come together, but you're going to have to mix slowly at first. We're not trying to knead it. We're just trying to combine all the ingredients so there are no wet spots. So just keep mixing together, folding over itself, uh, what I like I'm doing with my spatula, and then we're going to put in our butter. Mine congealed a little bit, but it should be melted. And we're just going to keep stirring that and folding it together until we have a solid mass, which will be enough to put in our bread tins. So you can see that I finally kind of got a hang on it. It's coming together as one solid mass. There are some places where there is still some dry ingredient left over. That's all right. Just keep moving your ball of dough around. And eventually, because it's very wet in there, it will get all of your dry ingredients up. So not an issue. Also, if you've mixed yours uh, faster than me, you will note that I have two loaf tins on my table. You only need one for this recipe, but as I mentioned earlier, I'm doing a double. So make sure that you have either lubricated or used parchment paper on your uh, 8x4, I'm using 9x5, loaf tins. Okay, and this will make sure that your bread comes out nice and easy. So we're almost done mixing, and now we are going to divide this. I'm going to divide this because I'm doubling it. You can just plop your dough right in your loaf tin, just like so. We're going to do that with our second one, just like so. All right, so we have our two loaves. They are in their respective loaf tin. They weigh the exact same amount. That's what I was using the scale for. And now we're going to pop them in the oven uh, at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 to 60 minutes, okay? And this is just going to be... Now, you're still going to want to use the, the 205 temperature test, but if you don't have a thermometer, you're going to use the cake test, right? You're going to take a toothpick and you're just going to put it in, and if it comes out clean, um, you know it's done, okay? Because these are essentially going to bake like cakes because it's a bit like soda bread, all right? So we're going to pop these into the oven. I'm going to set a timer. Um, we're going to rotate these halfway through. So about 25 minutes through our politics portion, I'm going to pause and uh, rotate them in the oven. 
and then we're gonna take them out at 50 minutes. My oven typically runs a little hot, so it should be fine. Although these may need to cook a little longer because I'm doing two of them. You know, you, we can figure it out. So no worries about that. We're gonna put these in for 50 minutes for now. Uh, so I'm gonna go set a timer and then we will be ready to talk some politics. Be right back. All right, so as you probably heard in the background and just now, uh, our timer is done. So we are going to take our bread out of the oven and have a look at it together. All right, so full disclosure, my bread took about 15 minutes extra, but I did have two of them in the oven, so don't worry about that. Just make sure that you measure it properly. All right, guys, these loaves look amazing. I can't wait to eat them. I will see you all in the new year. Thank you so much for watching Let Them Eat Bread, and take care. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, throw a like on it, share with your friends, and subscribe for more of our content. You can also find all of our videos and clips on youtube.com. Just search Let Them Eat Bread and you'll find all of our content. All right, guys, see you next time. Bye for now.